Electrodes and the Introduction In 1800, Italian physicist Alessandro Volta invented the first true battery by stacking disks of copper and zinc separated by a cloth soaked in salty water. The building blocks of a battery are the cathode and anode isolated by a separator that is moistened with electrolyte. Positive ions move from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte and the separator. Negative ions move in the opposite direction. Cathodes are made of metal oxide and anodes are made from carbon. Metal oxides are crystalline solids that contain a metal cation and an oxide anion. They typically react with water to form bases or with acids to form salts. Oxides are binary compounds of oxygen with another element. Most oxides form in soil. All oxides have very low solubility at common soil pH. Petagenesis is the process of soil formation as, re as regulated by the effects of place, environment, and history. Biogeochemical processes act to both create and destroy order within soils. The anode builds up negative charge and the cathode builds up positive charge, creating the cell voltage. During this charge, the negatively charged anode releases electrons and the positively charged cathode absorbs electrons. For good electrochemical cell, you want a cathode with a large positive reduction potential and an anode with a large in magnitude negative number reduction potential. Voltage potential becomes stronger the further apart the affinity number. Reduction potential is defined as a tendency of a chemical species to be reduced by gaining an electron and is defined with electrochemical reference to hydrogen, which is globally given the reduction potential of zero. Affinity is the tendency of a chemical species such as an atom or molecule to react with another to form a chemical compound. The less valence electrons an atom has, the least likely it will gain electrons. Electron affinity decreases down the groups and from right to left across the periods on the periodic table because the electrons are placed in a higher energy level far from the nucleus, thus a decrease from its pull. In the case of electrochemical cells, an oxidation reaction occurs at the anode producing the electron negative charge that flows out of the cell through the external circuit and a reduction reaction occurs at the cathode surface to consume the electrons coming from the external circuit. The positive and negative current collectors provide a pathway for electrons to flow through an external circuit. Negatively charged electrons flow through an external load from the anode to the cathode, creating a current in the opposite direction. A load defines the current that is drawn from the battery. The sign convention for positive current is in the opposite direction of the electron flow. During charge, the process is reversed and electrons are forced into the cathode, now the negative electrode. Reduction potential. In a battery, the cathode is known as the oxidizing agent because it accepts electrons from the anode. The anode is known as the reducing agent because it loses electrons. Reduction potential is a measure of the tendency of a chemical species to acquire electrons from or lose electrons to an electrode and thereby be reduced or oxidized respectively. Standard reduction potentials are used to determine the standard cell potential. The standard reduction cell potential and the standard oxidation cell potential can be combined to determine the overall cell potential of a galvanic cell. A galvanic cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy. The standard cell potential is the potential difference between the cathode and anode. Reduction potential is measured in volts or millivolts. When solving for the standard cell potential, the species oxidized and the species reduced must be identified. The oxidation state of an atom should be high if it is an, to be an oxidizing agent and low if it is to be a reducing agent. Strong oxidizing agents have unfilled orbitals at low energy and strong reducing agents have high energy electrons. 
The standard oxidation potential is much like the standard reduction potential. It is the tendency for species to be oxidized at standard conditions. It is also written in the form of a half reaction. The standard oxidation potential and the standard reduction potential are opposite in sign to each other for the same chemical species. Standard reduction or oxidation potentials can be determined using standard hydrogen electrode. Electron transfer is a mechanistic description of a redox reaction, wherein the oxidation of the donor and reduction of the acceptor occurs. Electron transfer occurs when an electron relocates from an atom or molecule to another such chemical entity. Spontaneous electron transfer occurs between stronger oxidizing and reducing agents to produce weaker reducing and oxidizing agents. Weak reactants do not react to produce strong ones. The activity series is a chart of metals listed in order of declining relative reactivity that allows us to predict the relative reactivities of different metals when used in oxidation reduction processes. The top metals are more reactive than the metals on the bottom. The driving force behind many redox reactions arises because the acceptor orbitals are much lower in energy than the donor orbitals. The most abundant redox active metals are the transition metals, iron and copper. Transition metals are elements whose atom has a partially filled D subshell or which can give rise to cations with an incomplete D subshell. A subshell is a subdivision of electron shells separated by electron orbitals. Subshells are labeled S, P, D, and F in an electron configuration. The four different types of orbitals, S, P, D, and F, have different shapes, and one orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. The P, D, and F orbitals have different sublevels, thus can hold more electrons. Many of the physical and chemical properties of elements can be correlated to their uni unique electron configurations. The valence electrons, electrons in the outermost shell, are the determining factor for the unique chemistry of the element. Electrons in outer shells have higher average energy than those in inner shells. For a good electrochemical cell, you want a cathode with a large positive reduction potential and an anode with a large magnitude negative number reduction potential. Volt voltage potential becomes stronger the further apart the affinity number. Electron affinity is defined as the amount of energy liberated when a molecule or neutral atom acquires an electron from outside. In general, electron affinity increases or becomes more negative from left to right across a period. This is due to an increasing effective nuclear charge, which more readily pulls these electrons in. In general, electron affinity decreases or becomes less negative from top to bottom down a group. Generally, nonmetals have more positive electron affinity than metals. Atoms such as group 7 elements, whose anions are more stable than neutral atoms, have higher electron affinities. Unlike ionization energies, which are always positive for a neutral atom because energy is required to remove an electron, electron affinities can be negative, energy is released when an electron is added, positive, energy must be added to the system to produce an anion, or zero, the process is energetically neutral. This sign convention is consistent with a negative value corresponding to the energy change for an exothermic process, which is one in which heat is released. Ionization energy is the minimum amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron of an isolated neutral gaseous atom or molecule. The greater the ionization energy, the more difficult it is to remove an electron. The ionization energy may be an indicator of the reactivity of an element. The first ionization energy of, a, of boron is less than that of beryllium, and the first ionization of oxygen is less than that of nitrogen. The reason for the discrepancy is due to the electron configuration of these elements, and Hund's rule. 
Hund's rule states that electron orbitals that are degenerate are first half filled before they are totally filled. Degenerate means that they have the same amount of energy. Inductive effect is the effect of the transmission of a charge through a chain of atoms resulting in a permanent dipole in a chemical bond. Electromeric effect is the complete transfer of pi bonds in a molecule in the presence of an attacking agent. Cathode and anode materials. Cathodes are made of metal oxide and anodes are made from carbon. Nanostructure of silicon and tin are new anode materials. Synthetic surface consisting of minute upright blades of silicon that allows control of the way it interacts with liquid is called nanograss. Graphite is a form of carbon that has a long-term cyclability. Nanotube carbons tend to entangle and affect performance. In conventional graphite anode, it takes six carbon atoms to hold one lithium ion. In silicon anode, each silicon atom can hold four lithium ions, a huge advantage. Unfortunately, silicon anodes swell and shrink as batteries charge and discharge, swells as much as 300%. The changes in size eventually drives anode to disintegrate. Purified natural flake graphite has a higher crystalline structure, offers better electrical and thermal conductivity than synthetic material. Unprocessed natural graphite is much cheaper, environmentally friendly, and also forms the base for graphene. Gra the graphite industry is currently under pressure to reduce pollution levels. Sulfur as a cathode. Each sulfur atom can hold a pair of lithium but it reacts with common electrolyte to form chemicals that can kill batteries after a few cycles. Sulfur cathodes also tend to hoard charges instead of giving them up during discharge. Nanosolutions encase sulfur particles inside highly conductive titanium dioxide shells, boosting battery capacity fivefold and preventing sulfur byproducts from poisoning the cell. Phosphorus as active material for negative electrodes of sodium ion rechargeable batteries has the maximum theoretical capacity with respect to sodium intercalation. So far, sodium ions have demonstrated about half the energy density of lithium.